Beautiful hardwoods though. Oh yeah. But then you got like the bathroom, which is a different color. The kitchen's looking a little wonky. Kind of doesn't like match. Uh, I think if you're really trying to get the best type of tenant, uh, you're really trying to make your your, your ability to screen uh, good, high quality tenants. You want to provide them the best product. I think you should probably repaint the whole thing and upgrade that kitchen a little bit. Uh, very high. One of the top SKUs that they're selling is that agreeable gray. But uh, what's starting to come in would be going completely white, right? So you have the option to go with the gray or the complete uh, white package, right? So we'll go ahead and link product descriptions uh, to both the gray paint, some white paint, and of course we'll get you paint for your trim, paint for your ceilings, and you guys could purchase all those paints. This thing's like heavy, dude. Yeah, I know. It's like a. Dang it. The combination's like one of those high school lots where you gotta like pass it and go back. You can put this in a sock. Bang. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Canton, y'all. Love me some Canton, man. Canton's really good, and I got something that's really good for y'all in Canton. Check this out. We got a triplex, 1008 6th Street, all right? Three units, folks. Three units for the price of one, all right? 114900 You get a three bed, you get a two bed, and you get a studio, right? The three bed's being rented for seven fifty. The studio currently being rented for five, but... That's, you know, below market rent, right? It's 2023 now, guys. Canton, just like all of Ohio, just like all of the USA, has seen an incredible increase in market rent prices, right? If we were to rent these particular units today, we should be able to get $9.95 for the three beds, six fifty dollars for the studio. And that vacant two-bedroom unit that my guys have given you guys a full tour of here, I'm sure you're watching the footage as we speak, that should be able to be rented for $8.75. Now... Most of that unit, as you can tell, looks pretty good, pretty rent ready, right? They got the, the neutral colors in there. They got the wood floors. Now, to be fair, though, okay, to be fair, I don't specifically uh, think that you have to 100% uh, renovate this, this unit like a lot. You might want to do a little touch up, uh, but I don't think you'll be able to get uh, the 875 with it in its current iteration. Like, they got, like, that cream color up there, which is, like, fine. It's serviceable. But then you got, like, the bathroom, which is a different color. The kitchen's looking a little wonky. Kind of doesn't, like, match. Uh, I think if you're really trying to get the best type of tenant, uh, you're really trying to make your, your, your ability to screen uh, good, high-quality tenants. You want to provide them the best product. I think you should probably repaint the whole thing and upgrade that kitchen a little bit, right? As far as the paint on this, uh, for the longest time, like maybe like the last – well, see – Actually, we'll go back even further. I was going to say for the last like five, six years, uh, we've been using like agreeable gray, right? It's one of the most popular colors by Sherwin-Williams. And if you guys are interested in actually purchasing that color for your rentals, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tag that in the, the products uh, below, right? So at some point during uh, this video, you can actually click on the little tagged products button. You can go ahead and directly purchase the kind of paint that we use here at Holton Weiss. But for the longest time, we were using uh, that agreeable gray paint. So I'll pop some stuff up there. I might even be able to give you guys some generic versions of it uh, that might even save you a little bit of money. Prior to that, so that's been like the last like five years. Prior to that, people were using the cream, right? So I guess we did use the cream color. But what I'm trying to say is the cream color, folks, uh, that's like more or less like 10 years outdated, right? So if you really wanted to use that uh, and keep it how it is, I suppose you could uh, get somebody in there without having to spend a lot of money fixing it up. But I really don't think that's going to be your best bet. I think you're going to get lower quality tenants doing that, right? So agreeable gray through the whole thing would look pretty nice. But I've actually noticed like the trends changing a little bit and what's kind of going out of style. It's not totally out of style. It's still uh, very high. One of the top SKUs that they're selling is that agreeable gray. But uh, what's starting to come in would be going completely white, right? So you have the option to go with the gray or the complete uh, white package, right? So we'll go ahead and link product descriptions uh, to both the gray paint, some white paint. And of course, we'll get you paint for your trim, paint for your ceilings. And you guys could purchase all those paints. Uh, dealer choice on that one. I, I think you're going to get the same level and quality of tenant by going 
going with the agreeable gray color or the white color. But in my opinion, uh, what the most important thing for you to do is make sure it's the whole freaking thing, right? You don't want to go into this room and you got like a cream color and you go over here, it's a different color. You go over here, it's a different color. Like get it fresh, get it cohesive, get it consistent. And then let's upgrade that, uh, that, that kitchen, right? Let's get some Home Depot Lowe's quality countertops in there uh you know literally make this space a little bit better for those tenants right because guys you could go in there and you could cheap out and you, and you could not want to renovate this at all and yeah you'll get a body in there but you know what happens when you do like the minimum to get yourself a body you end up on the tenants from hell show folks and if you ain't ever watched our tenants from hell show perhaps you should check that out because landlords who don't uh take the time and effort to actually put a little bit of money into their properties end up up with bad tenants and bad tenants will jack up your life y'all uh, so i wouldn't recommend you go that route and then as far as a neighborhood like this uh the neighborhood in my opinion is kind of like a c-grade level risk so what we can do here uh is you can get your cash paying tenants you can also get your section 8 tenants as well but that's the thing right you're like, okay, well, what does it matter if I'm screening tenants? Why do I need to provide like a nice product that's a Section 8? The government's paying the rent anyway. Yes, yes, that's true. But uh, when you're screening for Section 8 tenants, folks, uh, just because the rent gets paid, that does not necessarily mean that's the only factor you want to look at when you're looking at uh, placing a tenant in your property, right? Like maybe if it's a single family house, you don't have to worry about uh, them bothering your neighbors as much. But hey, man, you got two other tenants in this apartment building to worry about, right? You don't want to get somebody who yeah their rent's paid uh but they're driving your other two tenants out right so you provide a nicer product you're going to get way more section 8 customers who are going to want to rent your product and then you could pick the one who you think is going to cause you the fewest amount of problems y'all that is the name of the game that's how landlords get rich in this business you don't get rich by putting in a tenant who kicks out the other two tenants no 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 you get rich by placing tenants and then leaving them there for as long as possible and you get tenants to stay as long as possible by providing them the nicest unit and in turn you should get the nicest tenant who in turn will piss off fewer of the neighboring tenants thus making your turnover costs go lower and making your roi go higher but hey it's all about how you want to run it. You can run this any way you want. That's just how I happen to run my portfolio. That's how we help thousands of investors across the world invest in Ohio real estate. We've done over $200 million worth of uh, investment property sales just like this one all throughout Ohio, folks. And that is a tried and proven way to get seriously rich, right? But if you're not trying to get seriously rich, that's cool. I mean, as long as your money's green, uh, we'll go ahead and sell you the property and you can jack it up all you want, right? Uh, so if you want to take my advice, that's great. Send an email to my team, salesatholdenweiss.com, with how much you want to offer. If you don't want to take my advice, hey, that's cool too, I guess. <laughs> Same thing. Send an email to my team, salesatholdenweiss.com. If you want to pay cash, uh, just send us a proof of funds. If you want to finance it, uh, go ahead and include a pre-approval to your lender. And uh, if you do want to buy this with financing, but you actually don't have a lender or nobody's helped you out with that yet, uh, my team here at Holton Wise, we can actually hook you guys up with lenders. We have lenders for investors all 50 states. We also have uh, lenders for foreign nationals who want to invest here in Canton, right? So if you're trying to invest in Canton, but you're over there in Canada, or you're in the UK, we got you covered. Now, the terms are not going to be as good, right? You're not going to be able to do a 30-year loan for 25% down like folks in the US of A can do. Uh, but we still got some lenders who got some pretty attractive products for foreign nationals. Uh, so we can hook all you guys up, right? So sales at homeweiss.com. And then for anybody who's actually local to Canton, or maybe you're driving in or flying into Canton, and you want to tour that van vacant unit uh, to put together your specific scope of work and rental bid. Maybe you have a contractor you want to take in there with you. That's totally cool, dude. We're all about transparency. Just shoot us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. You get us uh, that email before 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We should be able to get you into that property to tour the vacant unit same day. Uh, if not, we'll get you in there the next business day. Don't be sending us an email at like 9 o'clock on a Saturday night and expect to get into the property. That'd be weird. That, that'd be really, really weird. But hey, man, Sunday morning, boom! You're in there like swimwear. Let's go. All right, there's the boys walking across the street at uh, 1008 something something West Street off Fulton. On a one way.
Is it opened up for me? This for y'all though. That's cool. You don't see that every day. Uh, I don't know if that's what I would call it, but yeah. The hint of oak. Beautiful hardwoods though. Oh yeah. Cool. Must be fixed with the hint of oak. What was this? Two nice? Yeah, it's two. Two nice size bedrooms too. Yeah, like actually, mm -hmm. is this a old black box? Yeah. Did they use it to break the window? No, I have to slip it through. This thing's like heavy, dude. Yeah, I know, it's, it's like a. Dang. The combination's like one of those fucking high school locks, we gotta like pass it to go back. You can put this in a sock. Bam! Well. Lock it up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 1,008. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait for you to get all the way down before I start heading down. Yeah, it's probably a one person at a time. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, when I came up, I was like, oh, that's wobbling a little bit. That's pretty sturdy though. Could be worse. For sure. We got two signs. We got one in the other corner over yonder. Yeah, that's sweet. You can see it from both sides. It's like an eight minute walk through. That place was tiny. You're thorough. Very yeah, thorough. It's like uh, the big Lebowski. He's thorough. Remember that scene? When uh, the one daughter was like, I need you to go see a doctor after you punch him in the face. Oh, yeah. He's like, he's very thorough. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, that's enough filming for today, boys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.